hello welcome to next lecture that is on circular cube so these are the learning outcomes at end of this session the students will be able to illustrate the circular cube in data structure so now we'll start with the circular cube previously what we have studied in the video lecture was implementation of linear cube as you know that cube will follow first in first out linear data structure but even if you have the memory space in the queue we cannot insert the new data into the queue so that's why that is to make the effective utilization of memory we are going to see the circular queue so first we are going to see the algorithm for the insert operation so in the same manner what we have studied in the linear queue that is for the insert operation we are going to check the full condition in the same manner if you are going to delete the atoms we are going to check the empty condition so why we are going to for circular queue as we know that in the linear queue if you delete all the elements that is 10 20 and 30 now this is r now this is an f if you delete all these elements the f will come here but the R will be at this same position. We are not going to connect this to the first position. That's why the memory utilization is not done properly in the linear queue. Means what? To make the effective utilization, we are going to connect the last end of the queue to the first end for uh, proper utilization of memory. Means we have a space, then we can reinsert the data. So that is known as an the circular queue logically we are going to connect that is this end to the this end here so we'll start with the an algorithm that is an insert operation so this is the condition to make the full so this is the full condition so this condition is appear so you can write q is overflow so if it doesn't happen so we have to go for the next step that is an f whatever you are going to conditions are there now suppose we are going to take the size is equal to 3 here so now i am going to draw the circle because we are going to connect logically that is last end to the first end here now suppose this is a of 0 a of 1 and a of 2 here so now before inserting the new elements every time we are going to check the full condition that is f is equal to equal to 0 that is ending with r is equal to equal to size minus 1 or condition either this condition or either this condition is satisfied you can say the queue is full that is f is equal to equal to r plus 1 now we are going to insert the new element that is an 10 so whenever you are going to insert the new element initial f and r is equal to minus 1 so they are pointing towards the minus 1 so this condition is satisfied when f is equal to equal to minus 1 then we can have f is equal to and r is equal to 0 means both the pointers are going to be increment by plus 1 here so that's why it is f is equal to equal to minus 1 means f is equal to equal to 0 now this condition will appear only once when we are going to insert the first data in the linear in the circular queue if this condition is not satisfied so the normal condition will appear that is r plus plus now if you want to reinsert the data means you are going to insert the new data so at that time you can say that is r is going to increment it by 1 so this will be f and now this is an r so this condition has been incremented because this condition is then r is equal to 0 this is most important condition so from this condition only we are going to connect this end to the next end here okay so <coughs> this will happen so now suppose one more data if you want to insert that is f that is 10 20 and 30 so r will be at this position here okay so now this condition is full how you are going to check this if you want to insert 40 you cannot insert that data that is 30 this is r this is a of 1 this is a of 2 this is a of 0 10 20 and f now going to check f is pointing where here 0 and size minus 1 size is what we are going 3 3 minus 2 3 minus 1 
so it is pointing so r is actually pointing towards 2 so this condition is satisfied this if doesn't happen so this is known as an or condition so this condition is satisfied so this is in full condition so we cannot reinsert the new data so when this condition will appear that is r is equal to equal to size minus 1 so when you are going to delete this element so f will come here okay so what will happen if you delete 10 so what happen your first now f will be incremented by this position 1 20 and this will be an r so in linear queue what happens if you want to reinsert the data that is not possible because we have not connected logically last end to the first end here but in circular queue by writing this condition if r is equal to equal to size minus 1 we have seen this in the year that is r is now where 2 that is size minus 1 so what will happen we can insert the new data that is a 40 so what will happen this will be at this position r is incremented by plus 1 so in the same manner if you want to do one more f is deleted so the space is available you can reinsert the data that is the effective utilization of a memory here in the same manner we are going to see the algorithm for the delete so in the same manner delete operation we are going to check the empty condition here so what we have taken that is the size we have taken 3 so already what we have seen 10 20 30 this is f this is r so if you want to in, uh, insert the data r is incremented by plus 1 if you want to delete the data that is you are going to increment the f pointer here so if you delete 10 so the new q will be look like this f this will be empty 20 and 30 this will be an r so this condition is written here f plus plus here so when this condition will happen f is equal to equal to r then we have to point r is equal to f equal to minus 1 here so all this condition before inserting we are going to see that our empty condition that is r is equal to equal to minus 1 ending with f is equal to equal to 1 okay now what we will see that if you delete this one more delete 20 so what will happen so f come here and r will be at same position that is a of 2 a of 1 and this is a of 0 so suppose now what happened this condition will be executed when f is equal to equal to r then f equal to so if we delete 30 so what will happen so if we delete this so both are pointing towards the same element so f in equal to reinitialize to r and f equal to minus 1 so q is in empty condition so if you delete the element from the q so this condition will be executed as f r and f is equal to minus 1 okay so when this condition will occur, uh, occur f is equal to size minus 1 so if f is at this position okay and r is at this position that is 10 20 and 30 here so if uh, f is equal to equal to size minus 1 so f is equal to 0 if you delete this element that is delete 10 so what will happen so f will point towards this element and r will be at this position only that is in this position means by connecting last end that is a of 2 to a of 0 that is logically we have connected here so f is going to increment it so how we are going to do this so we are going to do this by the modulus that is a mod of this here okay so these are the algorithms used for and delete operations by using this an algorithm we have to implement the c program here so for this you should remember all these three conditions that is f is equal to equal to r then what we have to do if f is equal to equal to size minus one what we have to do and normally f is incremented by plus one here okay so now we'll see the algorithm for the display here so now in display what we have to do that is we have to display all the elements how many elements are there which are the elements in the queue so th these are the uh, queue that is 10 20 and 30 this is a of 0 a of 1 a of 
टू हेयर सो बाय डिलीटिंग द एलिमेंट्स ओके सो इन द सेम मैनर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट दी डेटा सो वर्ट वॉट वी हैव टू चेक इज द क्यू इज एम टी और नॉट हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू चेक दिस एफ एंड आर इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू माइनस वन इफ दिस कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड यूर क्यू इज इन एम टी सो यू कैन नॉट डिलीट दी एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम दी क्यू सो दैट्स वाई सो एवरी टाइम वेन वी आर गोइंग टू डिसप्ले वी हैव टू चेक दिस कंडीशन दैट इज क्यू इज एम टी और नॉट इफ क्यू इज नॉट एम टी देन वी हैव टू गो फॉर एन फॉर लूप दैट इज आई इक्वल टू एफ आई इज नॉट इक्वल टू आर एंड आई इज इक्वल टू आई प्लस वन मॉड ऑफ साइज सो हियर साइज वॉट वी हैव टेकन इज थ्री सो दिस इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एज यू नो दैट इन फॉर लूप दिस इज फॉर इनिशियल कंडीशन दिस इज कंडीशन एंड दिस इज इंक्रीमेंट और डिक्रीमेंट ओके सो नाउ आई इज इक्वल टू एफ मीन्स एफ इज वेयर पॉइंटिंग दैट इज एफ ऑफ ए ऑफ जीरो हेयर सो हियर आई वैल्यू बिकम्स जीरो ओके आई इज नॉट इक्वल टू एल टिल वेयर यू आर गोइंग टू चेक दिस कंडीशन दैट इज आई इज नॉट इक्वल टू आर सो वेयर आर इज पॉइंटिंग वेयर आर इज पॉइंटिंग टूअर्ड्स दी टू सो दैट्स वाई आई इज नॉट इक्वल टू टू सो आई इज जीरो जीरो इज नॉट इक्वल टू टू सो दैट्स वाई दिस कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाई यू आर गोइंग टू इंक्रीमेंट दिस सो इट विल प्रिंट टेन सो वी आर गोइंग टू इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू ऑफ एंड दिस सो आई इज वॉट जीरो प्लस वन मॉड साइज ऑफ जीरो थ्री सो वन थ्री जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो दैट कम्स टू बी एन वन सो दिस इज इंक्रीमेंटेड बाय प्लस वन हेयर सेम मैनर इट इज पॉइंटिंग टूअर्ड्स दी वन इट विल बी पॉइंटिंग टूअर्ड्स दी टू सो दिस वाई द कंडीशन इज गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीमेंटेड हेयर सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट मॉड वी आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट ऑल दी Uh, logical end from a of zero, a of two to a of zero here. Okay, so it will print all ten, twenty, and while leaving these elements, we are going to print the q of r that is thirty. So this condition will satisfy till two elements are printed here, and one more element if you want to print, you have to print the q of r while leaving the this for loop here. So this is the regarding the algorithms for insert. delete and display for the circular queue so now pause this video and answer this question if uh, if it is a normal queue if we implement using an array of size that is max underscore size to get full condition so when what will be the condition for that so our answer is rare equal to max underscore size minus one so these are my references thank you